Om Shanti. Today is the 56th day of your beautiful blessing and this blessing. Baba is reminding us of all the different deities which have been remembered in the so-called Hindu Dharma. You see, I've put a Tika over here. By the way, happy holy to all of you. And this Tika means to have the mind fixed Tika. So Tika means that my mind is focused, my mind is not wavering around, my mind is not having confusion. So my mind is focused, my mind is thinking clearly, my mind is completely stable. That's why we put a tikka over here. And second reason for putting a tikka over here is that I am a soul and I reside over here. And I'm a point of light just like my God the Father. He is also a point of divine light. So God is light. I am also light. So I am his child. So I am also point of light energy. He is also point of light. Now God is reminding me that I have given all the qualities to my children and that's why they've been called as deities. Those human beings who have got divine qualities are deities. Not the ones who have got eight hands. Eight hands is a symbol of the powers of the soul. Not that a person has got eight hands. Then if a person has got eight hands, then you should be showing eight legs, right? Or more than that, actually 16 legs in that case. No, that's not shown. That means it's a symbolism. And all the weapons in the hand are also symbols of powers of the mind. So let's see what exactly Baba is saying about the powers of the mind here. So Baba says, may you become supremely worthy of being worshipped by keeping the worship of you in your awareness. That means I have to remember that all those symbols are the qualities which God had given us at one point of time when he had created me. Now he's reminding me that I created you like this. That means he's recreating me. History repeats itself. He's reminding me that you are so worthy. I'd given you all the divine qualities which you have remembered in the form of the form of deities. So we'll explain all those things over here. Which deities have been remembered for those powers and qualities in us. So may you become supremely worthy of being worshipped by keeping the worship of you in your awareness. And by making every act of yours worthy of worship. So my karmas also become like that if I remember those qualities which God had given me. So Baba says, every power of you children is worship in the form of the deities or the powers which I have. The sun deity for the symbolism of giving light, giving wisdom, the knowledge. God is the complete ocean of knowledge, the sun. And we get the knowledge or the light from him. So we also become master sons. So Baba says, that's the light. The wind, wind is light. So mind should also be light. The wind deity, the earth deity, symbol of stability. In the same way, the power of fearlessness is worshipped. Fearlessness. God is fearless. I should also be fearless. I'm his child. In the form of the goddess Kali. Goddess Kali has been shown with her tongue outside and saying that I am ready to challenge lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, and I'm ready to challenge all these things within me. I'm not. She's shown with Shankar under her foot. Now that's a symbol that anybody having any kind of impurity in that in that person will not be killed. But the impurity should be killed. But how do we show that the impurity was killed? So we show a person being killed under a foot. So Baba says that's a symbol of that. I have, I have actually completely removed the impurity in that the person instead of being fearful from that person. Oh, that person is greedy, let me run away. Oh, that person is lustful, let me run away. Oh, that person is egoistic, let me just run away from that person. No, fearless. Help that soul also to overcome those weaknesses within. So that is known as Kali. In the form of Kali, the power to face is worshipped in the form of the goddess Durga. What to face? Face the Durgun or the bad qualities within. That yes, I have got these bad habits, I need to overcome them. And to face the bad qualities in others and accept others as they are. And still love them for who they are, their God's children. So that is the form of Durga. They have shown with eight hands, with all those weapons. So those weapons are the spiritual knowledge which God gives us in Brahma Kumaris. The worship of the power of remaining content is a worship of that also. And a deity has been named after that. And making others content, remaining content and making others content is in the form of the Goddess Santoshima. Santosh means Santushta. So contentment, the goddess of contentment. So these are all symbols. They are not actual people. But there are many people who have got those qualities 
So they are a symbol of Santoshi Ma. Not just a woman, but a soul. Okay? The worship of the power of being a, as light as the wind is the form of the son of the wind. That is in bracket Hanuman. So Hanuman, actually if you think, is a symbol then. No person will have a face like a monkey. But people have become like monkeys. Monkey shows greed. Monkey shows lust. Monkey shows anger, irritability. Imagine a person. Even human beings have got those qualities in them, bad qualities. So, a human being has become like a monkey. Right? Same was done by Gandhiji also. He has shown symbol of don't see bad, don't hear bad, don't talk bad. But Baba says, God says, don't think bad. Also, the fourth monkey. So then Baba says, so keep this worship of you in your awareness and make every act of yours worthy of worship. So remember these qualities which I have given you and these are symbolisms in the form of deities. And you will also become like that. You will remember these and you will become worthy of worship. And you will then become supremely worthy of worship if you start practicing these qualities in your daily life and doing karmas as for that. So beautiful, beautiful Vardhan. And for more deeper knowledge, do come to Brahma Kumari's next door to you. It's over you are. Visit the link which I have given below for finding the center next to your house. And do go ahead and do the free meditation there. With this, I leave you. Om Shanti. Thank you.